I tested out your silly video ideas. Who told this man to ride a horse, dude? This is me delivering food on a horse. Where's the Pizza Express? Getting an avocado blessed by a priest. We bless this avocado. And dressing up as a big ball of yarn. Oh no, it's already a disaster. And there's what? some of the few ideas I'm doing today, all because Where'd the cat come from? you told me to. But why? Well, I always get asked this question. How do you come up with the ideas? How do you come up with the ideas? What should we talk to Max about? Where does he get his ideas? And the answer to that question is actually... I don't know. The one place I definitely don't get my video ideas from is you. I ate Swedish meatballs in Italy. No. Put a block of cheese across the River Thames. Is Sweden in Italy? Why would you do that? Why? I did a number two in number ten. Oh, that's actually quite good. Maybe I should listen to you guys more often. So let's start with some of your ideas. Are you joking? Why are you laughing? These are serious questions. Oh, this kind of looks like Italy. Where's Italy at? Well, oh, it's close. <laughs> it's like, it's, you know, they're kind of, they're in the same square. Let's give them a go. Idea number one, work as a delivery driver on a horse. Come on. It turns out it's relatively simple to sign up as a delivery driver in the UK. The thing is, I never specified exactly what I would be riding. Amazingly, they allowed me to do this. Always read the terms and conditions. So I saddled up, started my shift, How is and this while legal? waiting for my first order of the day, my noble steed Phoenix and I took a- Isn't it like so crazy how like, People wouldn't bat an eye with you, like, riding a horse through the neighborhood. But, like, say I just decided to, like, hop on an elephant. You know what I'm saying? Like, how does this work, bro? Tour of the town. Causing a bit of a traffic jam here. Sorry, sorry, just, just doing a delivery. Sorry, sir. But thankfully, before I caused too much mayhem, an order came through. Oh, I think I've got a job. So while I head to pick up my first delivery of the day, let's start on silly idea number two. Elephant oh, delivery oh, should work. Avocados, please. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, sir. Or maybe like oh, camel deliveries? Because one of you has suggested that I should get them blessed by a priest so I can make holy guacamole. Okay, dude. You proud of yourself? You happy okay, with dude. You can't make holy guacamole without some holy avocados. So first on the agenda was to find a priest that was willing to bless my fruit. Very much not. I set about I searching every local again. church I could for a willing clergyman. Right. Hello. But it seemed like God very much wasn't in. What's wrong with all these crazy churches? But eventually I found a church that was open and it was time for the weirdest blessing of their lives. Wow. Good afternoon, Father. Honestly, they, they've been blessing hey, children a lot, unless you don't think that's bizarre. weird. I don't know. Making a lot of guacamole in my job. You gotta watch out for priests. whether you could bless the avocado. Yes. <laughs> Good to thank you very much. Here at the high altar. Uh, the high altar would be great, please. Thank you. Of course. The high altar? As I'm a classy guy, only the highest altars would do for my holy guacamole. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for Max for the start of this new year. We pray that this avocado blossom in his life. And so we bless what? this avocado in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. We're used to what we quest. <laughs> With my avocados blessed, it was time to make the most sacred of dips. Welcome. All right, let's see what he puts Max's in his avocado chat. Today we're making holy guacamole. I'm your host. Max Do you guys put pico in your one Blessed avocados. It's got the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pip, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if I was on TikTok, I would tell you how you can grow unlimited avocados with this pip. <laughs> They've always been a bit holy. Okay. Molly, can you look up avocado yeah. jokes, please? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making a holy guacamole. I got the avocados blessed by a priest. What priest except <laughs> <laughs> This avocado is a lovely man. Add onions, lots of lime, and Just finally, sick. a bit of sriracha salt. That looks ruddy great. 
Oh, yeah. With my guacamole tasting absolutely heavenly, it was time to be a good Samaritan. I now must feed the 5,000. Like some holy guacamole, avocado is blessed by a priest, sir. Take your sinful guacamole and shove it where the sick. sun don't shine. Do you like Wait, your what? guacamole sinful? Either or. Either or. Well, this is the first sin-free guacamole. Dude, how often do people trust, like, y'all just be walking up to people and, like, eating, like, just anything out in the wild? Like, y'all be doing that? How is it? It's good. Well, spicy. No, it's not spicy. It doesn't have the spice of sin in it. Anyone want some holy guacamole? It's been blessed by a priest. Holy guacamole, sir. Would you like some, sir? Quick, quickly. Take this. <laughs> Spirit Sanctum. Oh. The secret ingredient. I was going to say, is there a secret ingredient? Is God. Wow. Ooh, nice. Praise the Lord. Maybe a bit more salt? Bit, uh, <laughs> okay, absolutely. Maybe a bit more salt. Where's the camera? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> My holy guacamole idea, I'd give that four pips out of five. My next idea, Williams M17 suggested that I should hire a mariachi band to spoil more things for my friend Charlie. Now, if you have no idea what those words mean, a couple of months ago, I went to some extreme lengths to ruin the Lion King for my friend Charlie, all because he spoiled Game of Thrones for me. Everyone you can't say that. Obviously, I didn't go far enough, so I'm gonna write an original song find some men with some sombreros and get spoiling. I'm in a car park with a mariachi band and it's raining. You ready? To make sure the Bro, beef Max's with life was is quashed insane. once and for all, I'd find Every a day just doing the craziest stuff for dude. my Mexican maestros that were sure to put Charlie off ruining anything for me ever again. With everything ready, all that was left to do was to surprise him at his flat. Literally all the neighbors are like, um, so right now, like this is what we're doing this? Thank you very much. Uh, great! <laughs> what? I would give that three mariachi bands out of five. Now time for silly idea number four. Hello. Uh, you guys take your shoes off as well when going into the lab? Of course. Not there. And this one is particularly uh, silly. Hello, guys. One of you suggested I went to a cat cafe dressed as a ball of yarn. Oh, gosh. This is this well, the is fact that so these handymen will just call you and no, like it's like it. niggas just be wanting somebody to talk to. Cats love balls Bro's just like, and oh I man, it took me forever to get there, confused. dude. I have to say, this idea I, I wasn't care, my dude. favorite. Get the fucking work done. As I might be slightly afraid of cats. Can I have this back, please? Can I just get this, please? Oh, okay, no, fine. No, you can. No, that's yours. <laughs> the that's cats are like uh, negative, buddy. Oh god. Run. Oh, that's my toes. He's taking me with him. As I was starting to be assaulted by one cat in particular, I'm dressed as a ball of yarn in a cat cafe. I started to question my life's decisions. I think I'd rate this idea one ball of yarn out of five. Was it something I said? And the next one Aww. wasn't much better. For this, it's I would so need cute. to drive hundreds of miles out of London. I did, sir, do your ideas. To a place called Buxton. 
A hundred miles? I've made it to Buxton with my Buxton. This is probably the stupidest idea that you guys have suggested in this video. One of you suggested that I buy some bottled water and released it back into the wild at its source. And what better option what? than a beautiful British bottle of Buxton, which happens to be sourced from St Anne's Well in the aptly named town of Buxton. Somewhere over there. Ew. Tell you what, very pretty. I see the well. The water comes from here and it'll be going back to here. She need help carrying them. It's literally to that camper van. That camper van, okay, here we go. Lovely jugs. Hey. Water. Sorry. Thank you. No worries. Bit of community service. I've lost my lost, lost, lost my place in the queue. Is that everybody's I touching it? Bottle of Buxton to set free. It seemed like some members of the Fosh Pit had turned out for a guard of honour. Time to go home. Just having this idea was as demoralizing as I thought it would be. Naught out of ten. Rubbish. Look at that. Guess it's time for me to check back in with past the people me. in Africa are just buzzing right now. They're like, bro, how? These niggas just leave the water on? Like, <laughs> it's just always flowing in? In Phoenix, and to get our horseback deliveries done. Now, this idea got sent in by one of you who saw a legend in Sweden do it called Fabian. Pizza for Peter? <laughs> I'm, and sorry, over in the UK, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. seemed to be man. turning some heads. You see the horse? Which one? It's my new vehicle I'm trying. <laughs> the one horsepower. Really? Yeah. That's nice. You got any carrots? Any carrots? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you a carrot later. Come on, this way. You just stay right there. I'll be right back. Deliveries. Uh, what's the number? 264. Phoenix, I got you a tip. Hold on, Phoenix. Hold on, mate. You're just waiting? Well done, good boy. Oh, it's gonna be one of these houses, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie, if I thought this would be successful anywhere, I would have def assumed in Britain somewhere. Like, I would have thought you guys probably still had, like, little posts for the horse to get tied up and everything, just right outside the pubs. I'll try 15. I've got a delivery. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a vegan margarita. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Have a good day. You know, it's a new, new, new thing for the, with the, you know, delivery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we all do horses now. You're yeah. doing horses yeah. now. Have a good one. Cheers. What? I hope not.